Hello everybody, Kay here on the homestead and I just wanted to jump on here real quick today to let you know it's time. All the preparations that we've been doing, well, <laughs> it looks like it's time for things to start happening closer to home. If you're following the news, you know that this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, that's given all praise to the Most High, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Um, let me talk in, in, his only, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Protestant Babylon camp, down here in Tampa, Florida. And uh, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to those four legs scattered abroad. And real quick before she, she get into this video a little bit, and this is a YouTuber called um, K, uh, K, K, K Trail Late Bloomer. It says, what the hell is going down? And this is nine days ago. She's about to touch on, the, um, she's about to say a couple things that's going to, you know, touch a couple points. But I just want to let's say, hey man. You know, these preppers, you know, and she even went on to even go into later in the video. I'm going to do another clip about it, about that, you know, uh, about that Karagma in Canada is starting to come out, man. Okay, so you paying attention, if you're actually watching, like like these preppers are watching, you know, you see that we're at the end of this thing, man, and it's going down. All right. A number of governments have fallen. It looks like it's time it's for things come, to come start home. happening closer to home. If you're following America's America's about to be, you know, touched, man. In the news, you know that a number of governments have fallen in the in the last few days. The Sri Lankan president fled for his life on a boat um, as the entire populace stormed the capital. The Afghan president, I guess, just fled the country. I, I'm just hearing about this now. And of course, Shinzo Abe, Japan's ex-prime minister, was shot and killed while making a speech. Israel's president is not seeking re-election. Um, the UK prime minister just resigned. Uh, 50,000 UK ministers resign. <laughs> I'm just getting news right now. So that is that was actually news to me. And of course, the last time I was on, I was talking about all of the food processing plants all over the place that are being mysteriously burned. And yesterday, Oklahoma's natural gas plant burst into flames. Uh, that's one more on a very long list. And this will especially affect California. There's a new regulation. California self-employed truckers um, face some sort of new regulation and they face a shutdown. And 70,000 truckers bringing produce into California, stopping that bringing into California could make a huge impact. You see that? So they about to, hey man, they just shutting this shit down, man, and it's systematic. Okay, she said uh, all kinds of uh, products, man. Not just produce, but all kinds of products. You know, those truckers is getting let off and that's getting fired and that's getting, you know, these restrictions happen to them. That's you not getting stuff, you know, in, in, in your stores. And then ultimately this whole thing is going to shut down, man. All right, so there's a couple of things right there. She said, you got a lot of these governments, you know, that's just collapsing. You got a lot of shit going on around the world. If you're not really paying attention, you, you know, if, if you, you know, stuck on keeping up with the Kard Kardashians or some, you know, madness, then you're going to be destroyed, man. Or you're going to be caught off guard. But this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 32. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. So before, you know, this place is ultimately destroyed. You know, these prophecies must come to pass. And that's why you got these everyday Americans, you know, these, these everyday, you know, people becoming preppers and they're, you know, <laughs> making shows and they're all com communicating and networking together and stuff. And that's how we should be in the spirit, man. You know, I was telling the brothers the other day, like, you look, look at these preppers, man, they don't fucking fire. They be putting up three or four or five videos a day, man. You know, updates, you know, they're watching. They're, they're in their watchtower. 
you know, and and and, and, and they make they, you know, they put a lot of brothers to shame, really, you know. And Paul's be on fire for this truth. It says, "Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away." So, this world that we live in, in the fashion of this world, shall pass away. It says, "And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering." Uh, and drunkenness and the cares of this life, trying to party, have a good time, you know, you know, trying to, you know, become rich, wealthy in this life and make something of yourself in this life to help with that shit, man. This place is through. It, 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 there is going to be no life here soon. And that's, you know, phys uh, figuratively and literally, you know, going to be people, you know, people going to get put to death. OK, and, 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 and the mercy is already drying up in the streets, man. Okay, everybody, you know, uh, being been being oppressed. You got every day people talking about inflate, inflation now. People, motherfuckers ain't know what inflation was until it hit, man. Okay, it says, in cares of this life, and so what, and so that day shall come upon you unawares. Okay, so that so we so so, so we ain't gonna be caught unawares because what we watching, man. It says, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. So this is going to catch a lot of you people off guard. A lot of you people are going to, going to be destroyed behind this, man. It says, watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And that's why we watch it, man. The Lord said, watch ye therefore and pray always. You're going to be always watching in prayer, man. Okay, constantly in prayer to your whole me. I'll shy constantly in the spirit. Okay. That you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. And you just heard all the things she just noted. That's not even a fucking a, 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 a piece of the pie, man. Okay? That's that, that that's not even a crumb of the pie of what's actually going on and what's about to be going on out here. So much stuff is about to be popping off. And the Lord said, watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Okay? And this is what we want, man. We want to be able to stand before our Lord when he comes and be able to call upon his name and to receive, you know, salvation, man. You know, in a hopes that we, that, 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 we, that, that we get delivered. OK. That we get delivered. All right. And, and nothing else really matters, man. So these jakes, that's all in this. Other, and that's all in the carriage of this. We're trying to get rich. It's down the third. Hey, man, this place is through. It's over. You should be trying to get get what your whole boss and y'all shy, or or or, or you gonna wish you had, okay? Second Ezra chapter six, verse seven. Then answer I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of times, or when shall be the end of this of the first time and the beginning of it that followeth? So what what's gonna be the, the end of this world and the new world to come? In this world right now, the, the, the Edomites, the so called white race, they're in power. Their face is on the money. Their face is on Mount Rushmore. Okay. To even fly a fucking a, a, a plane, you have to know the English language, man. Okay, because they'll pull up on the side of you and say, hey, what you doing uh, uh, up up here flying in our air? Okay, so because they're in power. Okay, it says people, motherfuckers who don't know who, who, who Esau is. Okay, and then, and then after that, who, who comes in power? Jacob. It says, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, which was symbolic, showing what? For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So we are witnessing the end of Esau's world. They, we are witnessing the end of this world, which is the end of Esau's world, which is the white man's power system, his new world order. That's why he's trying to you know, establish a new world order, because he's trying to stay in power. He's trying to establish a new order over the earth where he can try to you know, fight his way you know, to stay in power. But hey, the Lord said he has given his men a balance that he cannot pass. So he can only go so far. OK, and, you know, the, the damn trip is over. You know, you were going to rant out of gas, man. OK, it ran out of gas. So, you, so, so did it you know this is the end. And what will happen? He's going to be like a damn when, when you corner a rabbit raccoon. <laughs> it's going to start, you know, jumping and attacking and biting and scratching, man. And that's what this devil's about to do. It says. Second Ezra chapter six, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Suddenly, when you least expect it, like this woman said, I'm talking about California and really all over America. People, you know, there's no truckers, man. The truckers aren't having jobs. They're talking about less trucks on, on the road. OK, which means less things going to these stores, which means why a lot of these stores are bare. OK, and we are all seeing the beginning stages of the end of this place, man. 
Okay. It says the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall suddenly be afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. For what? You know, food, water, medication. Okay. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. This place is gonna to get totally ran down, man. It's gonna be through. You know, it ain't gonna be no walk, no, no, no power, no, no, no water, no work, no none of that shit, man. Life as you know it is about to change drastically. It says, Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. So we praying to see the end of this world, man. Okay, we, we are praying to see the end of this world. Okay, and, and, and that's why, 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 why we do what we do. Okay, put on these shows and this work. Okay, this is what, what this is exactly why we do what we do, man. Okay, this is John chapter 9, verse 4. It says, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. So right now you're supposed to be serving Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, doing this work, okay? Because at the end of the day, man, all hell is about to break loose, man. Okay, all hell is about to break loose, and you don't want to be a part in it. Okay, you don't want to be a part of it. You want the Lord to make a way out for you to, 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 to lift up a standard, man. Okay, John chapter 9, verse 31. Now we know that the Most High here is not sinners, but any man, but if any man be of a, a be a worshiper of the most high and doeth his will, him he heareth, man. So if you really will worship Yahweh Bashim and you doing his will, the Lord the Lord will hear you, man. And, and the Lord said, What? Um his name, man. You got you, you, got, you gotta know his name. Okay? You got you gotta know his name, man. It's important to know that name. It says Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth unto it and into it and is safe. Okay, we have to call upon that name. The Lord said, He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved, man. Okay. We're we gonna, we, 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 we gonna have to endure through all this hell, man. You have to see it all. Okay, and we already seen the beginning stages of it, man. Okay, this is the beginning of sorrows. When you got Edomites like this, you know, look, look at a nice ass port she got even it's like this you know on, on, on these videos you know complaining you know it's getting bad man okay you know it's getting bad let me grab this we are witnessing the end the beginning of the end it says first corinthians chapter 7 verse Let's go to um, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 29. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. We're getting short times, brother. This ain't the time to be, you know, getting comfortable, trying to be, you know, cute and shit. The time is short, brother. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. So if you got a wife, you're supposed to be in this work as if you don't have a wife, man. Don't be all up, all up your woman ass. Get on fire for your whole body. Shimei was shy. Okay? It says... Um, and they that weep as though they weep not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possess not. So all all these things are temporary, man. Okay, right now everything is temporary. We gotta, you know, we know that a change is coming. Our Lord is coming. It says, and they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away, man. So the, pa the fashion of this world, the ways of this world, this world as we know it, is passing away. Okay, we are witnessing the end of, you know, this world and the beginning of a new world to come, which is going to be the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, the kingdom of heaven, which is what we desperately pray for, what, 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 what we sincerely need, okay? It says, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 11, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, 
looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of our Lord. Yahweh Yahweh Shai, where wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So this place is going to be destroyed, man. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. That's what we truly desire. That's what we truly hope for. A new heavens and a new earth, you know, a, a, a new rulership wherein dwelleth righteousness where we'll be in power. The earth will be at peace and harmony and tranquility, okay, under a true power, man. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless, man. That's why you should be on fire for your whole body, you shy, man. But that's pretty much it on that. I just want to touch on that point real quick. Call out your whole body, you shy. By Shimon Karkadash, Brakatha, Brakatham to you, brothers and sisters, that I truly believe that sincerely, you know, are, are fighting for your whole body, you shy, and enduring until the end. You know, keep the faith, you know, and uh, with that being said, I'm saying Shalom. I pray that's edifying and so hopeful that Shalom. Kwame Shirala, Abba Babal.